Do you remember the first time you saw Candy Clark on screen? Maybe it was in a really good movie or a favorite TV show. Clark is someone you won't forget easily. Have you got any special memories or stories about seeing this famous actor? Share them below. And don't stop watching this video because there's lots of interesting, surprising, and sad stuff coming up. An actor who made a big difference in entertainment deserves recognition for their memorable performances. They became famous by playing interesting roles that people loved. Their influence went beyond just entertainment and inspired many aspiring actors. They were really important during their time and still inspire actors today. Their story shows that if you're talented and work hard, you can be great. They played many different characters really well and everyone loved them for it. Their work left a big impact on popular culture and will be remembered for a long time. Their name will always be associated with great acting. They brought characters to life and made people love movies even more. They were really good at what they did and their work will never be forgotten. In the realm of movies, Candy Clark has left her mark with memorable performances. She showed her acting skills in movies like Star Crash and At Close Range. In Star Crash, she dubbed the voice of Caroline Munro for American audiences, proving how versatile she could be. During this time, she was married to Marjo Gortner, which added an interesting detail to her life outside of acting. Between 1975 and 1977, she lived with actor Jeff Bridges, which helped her build connections in Hollywood. And at close range, her role as Mary Sue made a big impression on viewers. The movie had other great actors like Sean Penn, Christopher Walken, and David Stratton, who were well known for their talent and awards. Through these films, Candy Clark showed she could play different characters and capture people's attention with her acting. Fans and critics still enjoy her work, showing she's made a mark in the movie world. In a classic film, Candy Clark brought to life a character named Debbie, charming audiences with her portrayal of a small town girl navigating the ups and downs of youth and love. Her performance was so impressive that she received an Oscar nomination, which was a big deal for her career. Behind the scenes, she formed a close friendship with Mackenzie Phillips, and they remained friends even when the cameras weren't rolling. She also took on the role of stepmother to Jordan Somers, adding another dimension to her personal life. The chemistry among the cast members was undeniable, making the movie timeless and beloved by many. Debbie's character struck a chord with viewers, becoming a symbol of teenage life and fond memories. Candy Clark's portrayal of Debbie is still remembered today as a remarkable moment in cinema history, showcasing her talent and dedication to acting. In a pivotal scene of The Man Who Fell to Earth, Candy Clark stepped into David Bowie's shoes quite literally. Bowie's illness led to Clark filling in for his character, Thomas Jerome Newton, with a hat pulled low over her face. She auditioned for Princess Leia in Star Wars Episode IV A New Hope, but didn't land the role. In The Big Sleep, her portrayal as Camilla Sternwood stirred controversy. Robert Mitchum worried that rejecting her character's advances might misconstrue his own. That's Candy Clark versatile and memorable even in brief appearances. In the realm of classic cinema, there exists a memorable figure whose performances continue to resonate with audiences. This individual's impact extends beyond a single film, captivating fans with their talent and leaving a lasting impression on the world of movies. For instance, in one notable appearance, they portrayed a character in a beloved film, earning acclaim and even an Academy Award nomination for their role. Beyond this, they participated in special events such as autograph signings which delighted enthusiasts who held the movie and its iconic vehicles dear. Alongside a co-star, they added an extra layer of excitement to such occasions, further solidifying their place in the hearts of fans. In another significant film, they showcased their versatility as an actor, delivering a memorable performance that resonated with audiences. In a particular scene, the mood was set by a popular song playing on the car radio, enhancing the emotional depth of the moment. Their portrayal of the character in this scene was captivating, drawing viewers into the story and leaving a lasting impact on cinematic history. Overall, this individual's contributions to film have left an enduring mark, inspiring generations of filmmakers and movie enthusiasts. Their talent and dedication continue to be celebrated, cementing their place as a true cinematic icon. During the filming of The Man Who Fell to Earth, she was romantically involved with director Nicholas Roque. In American Graffiti, she portrayed the character Debbie. Despite the movie being set in 1962, she and her co-stars were often older than their characters. In Amityville 3D, when Frost blows out of the basement onto her, it was actually warm wax. She had to wash her hair with detergent to remove it all. 
1974, a recognition in John Willis Screen World Book marked a turning point for a talented actress from Fort Worth, Texas. Hailing from Trimble Tech High School, she later portrayed Camilla Sternwood in The Big Sleep, a role that not only showcased her acting, but also revealed her off-screen adventures and preferences. Filming in England, she developed an unexpected love for Shepherd's Pie, leading to a gradual weight gain and snugger outfits during the production. The charming English countryside left a lasting impression on her, evident in her newfound affection for the traditional British dish. The camaraderie on set, combined with the delightful Shepherd's Pie, added a unique flavor to her overall experience during the film's production. This period marked a significant chapter in her career where dedication and adaptability shone through. The screen world recognition in 1974 solidified her as a rising star. The anecdotes from the big sleep set, including culinary discoveries and wardrobe challenges, provide an intimate perspective on her journey in the cinematic world. Reflecting on these details reveals how personal experiences and unexpected twists contribute to Hollywood stories. The Screen World acknowledgement in 1974 was just the beginning of a promising trajectory for this actress. And so, these anecdotes offer a glimpse into the multifaceted world of a talent behind on-screen magic. In her debut theatrical feature film, Candy Clark played the role of Faye in Fat City, alongside actors Curtis Cox, Ruben Navarro, Billy Walker, and Sixto Rodriguez. Despite being six billed and previously nominated for an Oscar for American Graffiti, Candy Clark portrayed Mary Sue in at close range without speaking a word of dialogue with less than five minutes of screen time. Interestingly, Paul Lamatt, who auditioned for a role in Fat City, caught the attention of casting agent Fred Ruse, ultimately securing the part of John Milner in American Graffiti. Meanwhile, Candy Clark landed the role in Fat City and also appeared in American Graffiti. A former fashion model in New York City, Candy Clark transitioned into acting with memorable roles in iconic films. In American Graffiti, she portrayed Debbie, delivering a standout performance captured in a single, spontaneous take. Despite a minor stumble over her lines, director George Lucas insisted on keeping the authentic moment. Another notable role came in The Big Sleep, where she played Camilla Sternwood. Clark's reluctance to film a nude scene due to her modesty is well documented. However, her commitment to the craft led her to endure a challenging day on set, showcasing her dedication to her roles. These instances highlight Candy Clark's versatility and commitment to her craft. In the early 1970s, she appeared in two movies set in Stockton, California, Fat City, and American Graffiti. These films provided a glimpse into the lives of characters navigating their way through the challenges and experiences of small town America. In Fat City, she portrayed a woman named Francine, bringing depth to her character with subtle yet impactful performances. Meanwhile, in American Graffiti, she played the role of Debbie, adding layers to the narrative with her authentic portrayal of a young woman coming of age in the 1960s. Her presence in these films contributed to the overall atmosphere and storytelling, showcasing her talent as an actress and capturing the essence of the time and place. Her performances resonated with audiences, solidifying her status as a notable figure in the film industry during that era. 